guys uh how just uh we we're just gonna solve to this little bit of an audio issue here Oi, oi. And we are back. Uh, hopefully, you guys are going to be able to hear uh, Marcia and Alvaro now. So, Alvaro, sound off, please. Hey, guys. Can you hear me now? Yeah, people are saying on chat they, they heard Marcia when we were doing the, the test. So, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so uh, let's start uh, discussing a little bit of our of our March bundle. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to, to go through. Ch Chip Ahoy is a big, big bundle with a lot of stuff. It's one of our most, let's say, ambitious bundles. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of our, it's kind of embodies the loot spirits, like keep growing, keep doing some awesome stuff yeah. for you guys. Uh, so with me today, I have Alvaro, who's gonna be sculpting uh, an alternative figurehead for the for the ship of the bundle, and I have Marcia, our our resident painter, who's gonna be uh, who's gonna be painting the can the cannon pirate. Let me just adjust a couple of things here. <laughs> so yeah, and let's let's just get like right into it, right? Uh, First off, let's do our, our heroes, our heroes for this bundle. And in this bundle, we try to do a little bit of something that we, we've 
done a couple of times in the past. Uh, bo- uh, and uh, I think we did it in, in December with the Pension Under Siege bundle. We, instead of, uh, uh, of course, we did the three heroes, but we also did kind of, kind of a lot of other minis that can be used uh, as heroes or, or as player characters, right? And to do that, we kind of divided them in two crews. And the first crew is the hero crew. And to start off, we're gonna go with Matt Jones, the human swashbuckler. So Matt Jones is kind of like your classic uh, black beard pirate, right? With the with the parrot on the shoulder and holding the the compass, which is a prop in this bundle that we're gonna be discussing a little bit later. Uh, and he's a swashbuckler, and the swashbuckler in Five E is a is a subclass of the rogue, uh, I believe. Yes, but you know it. it you can do a you can do a, a a rowdy pirate as a fighter, a rogue, a bard. There's a lot of versatility there. You can pick like whatever class you want to play, and it it'll probably be fine. Whatever martial class you want to play, I think the the oath of the open seas paladin from Critical Role. Uh, it would be a great choice for that. Uh, the Taudore campaign guide, uh, Reborn, I think was the, is the name of the book, just, com- just came out. So, yeah, it's Matt Jones would be a, a, a great pick for that. And let's transition here to see how the sculpt of this classic, classic uh, adventure, 80s adventure movie uh, or... 30s swashbuckler movie pirate turned out uh, and let's yeah let's just transition here and yeah let's just let's just soak in all of the details uh this is sculpted by uh leandro pavanelli uh who is also our our 3d team lead or sculpting team lead for the fantasy bundles and like Pavanelli always delivers there's a, he's always uh, delivering some amazing amazing uh, work uh, so you can see like the the classic stuff like the big beard like the big respectable beard I, I I'm gonna get there one day I'm gonna be able to do all those braids uh, but there's the the big bushy braided respectable beard there's the there's the eye patch like one of those recently <laughs> applied ones uh, he's probably been a, in a in a fight recently. The big tricorn hat, the the classic pi- parrot. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Fatimus Warlock. It, like, there's a bunch of classes that could work with with Matt Jones, but he's kind of like uh, he's kind of like your your classic classic pirate pirate captain trope. Right, in the, the the little story Lucas Gribo uh, came up with for us, the, uh, the the lore of this bundle, Matt is kind of the the precursor, the the instigator of the adventure, like he's the one with the with a grandfather, a great great grandfather or something, that left him a treasure map in his in his hat, and, and yeah, it's just a. Uh, an awesome awesome sculpt can we if we could zoom in a little bit just, just to get a little bit more detail and we also have uh as one of the heroes for the bundle we also have a bust for matt jones so actually uh yeah let's transition into the bust now i think we're gonna be able to see a little bit more more detail here yeah look at that let's get a, a close up of that face and of that that beautiful, beautiful beard hair. <laughs> uh, what what can I say, guys? I'm a I'm a bit of a sucker for a, for a nice, well treated beard. Uh, so yeah, a, a lot of a lot of really really nice detail. Uh, the the wrinkles on the on the cloth, the classic jackets, the the parrot, the hat. And I think this bundle in general is gonna be a, a lot of fun for artists. This bundle uh, has a lot of just really, really fun minis. Uh, but I think the, the feathers, like just all of the, I, I can just imagine like all of the colors you guys can come up with for, for this mini in particular, right? And this isn't even one of the more out there models, right? We have a couple of fish folk and we have a couple of, of like 
really, really kind of weird creatures. Uh, but just Matt Jones is gonna have like the the beard, the hat, the feathers, the 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 jacket, the oh, just so much to work with here. And yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing sculpt by Leandro Pavanelli. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I think that's. Let's prepare here for our next hero. Who? Oh, there's just so much to get through to, to this today, guys. Uh, so, okay, so our next hero is a Water Genasi, Alejandro Wavecrest or Water Genasi Druid. So Alejandro is like. Uh, a couple of people have been asking us to do uh, uh, more Genasi and a couple of the of the more out there races. Uh, it's and a couple of the more out there races, and we're gonna add them in whenever we have like uh, a good fitting bundle for them. Uh, I, I I think uh, more uh, more like Tieflings and Genasi and like. Who? What are some of the the other like special races? Like a couple of the the races that have come out recently are really really interesting, but we kind of need to find a good bundle to fit them in, uh, like the the Herangon or the fairy stuff like that. Uh, but I think Genasis are, are just like especially Water Genasi, just match so well with this bundle. And Alejandro, it's like a perfect ex example of uh, of a druid. But you can also use him as a as a fighter or something. A monk would also be a great fit fit for him. Ooh, let's. Uh, we're doing a couple of adjustments here, so yeah. Let me check. Uh, let me check the 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 chat here. No, we are not displaying the minis on the sh ship itself. <laughs> this is just a, a little bit of a uh, a background scenario that we came up with for the for the promotional material for this bundle uh, but the ship is actually like quite quite big we're gonna get to that uh, in just a little bit let's see here we're doing a couple of, uh, of adjustments okay so yeah 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 we're good okay so here it is Ale Alejandro wave crest I'm saying Alejandro I, I think that's the, the intent with uh, with Gribble for the for the name there sometimes I'm not sure but I think for this bundle he was Gribo was quite was quite quite nice to me there are not that many uh, difficult names to pronounce uh, so yeah Alejandro has uh, it's a it's a great great mini a great sculpt by Douglas Machings uh, it has a lot of uh, he's in a he's kind of in this dramatic pose and there's movement to him with the with the with the sleeveless jacket, because as uh, as Beauregard would say, sleeves are bullshit, right? Uh, just the 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 way the 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 jacket, the overcoat flows, plus his uh, his like long braided hair. So there's just a, a lot of uh, really cool movement to mini. You can just imagine this guy bringing about like a huge wave or a tsunami or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Alpha is absolutely designing uh, uh, an alternative figurehead. So we have a the figurehead for the ship is a separate piece, and that was intended so that you know if you don't want to use it or if you want to use a, a different one, you want to uh, put something together, uh, you can do that. Uh, and we are giving you an option using this live stream as an opportunity to give you another option for a for for a figurehead. So yeah, Alejandro, it's a, it's a, <laughs> I gotta say, he's a, like a, a, a really nice looking dude, right? Just, uh, he'll just be a catch. <laughs> uh, yes, so yeah, let's, let's get on to the Alejandro's bust. Let me transition here right quick so we can replace it with Alejandro's bust and get uh, more detail okay yeah so <laughs> Alejandro is wearing kind of those those who 
what are those things uh what are those things called uh, i i wouldn't call them gauntlets per se they're kind of like those those leg warmers a, a bit of an 80s style right but th those are kind of like racers armors something like that and it's uh i imagine it's something like shark leather which is quite uh quite rough uh alejandra it's like uh his the intention is that he be a water genasi so uh like a, a character that's a humanoid part uh and part elemental or part genie right but i think he would work quite well as well as an elf uh especially like a sea elf or a or even a triton right so there's a couple of different races that go with this particular character and i think it and i think uh i think douglas did an amazing job capturing the, the essence of the character here <laughs> yes so next up for our next and last hero for the bundle but ne definitely not the last mini uh we have who and this is gonna be uh uh kind of a lot to pronounce we have John Duteneur, who my sister knows a, uh, a lot of French. I know none, and she would probably chastise me for how I just said that. But Jean, or Jean, uh, it's a human tempest cleric. Uh, it's always nice to have a cleric, always nice to, to have like an awesome, uh, like well armored female character right so she she works as a cleric as a paladin even as a fighter with a couple of magical items she would work quite well as that uh and yeah it's uh it's in uh, a well armored figure uh, female miniature in lutz style which is just always nice to have and let me just wait for the trans perfect transition moment and here we go yeah, look at that. You do not want to get hit by a by a wallop from that that huge mace. Uh, uh, and the sculptor for this one is Michel Rodriguez. Uh, and, and yeah, it's just just an amazing amazing job. Uh, can we get a, a close up? Like the the shield and the way they are they are kind of when it turns around, we're, we're gonna see it. The way the the runes on the shield are are set up like lightning, like lightning strikes. Just so awesome. The yeah, yeah, that's great. I, I, I'm a sucker for a for an armored mini. I always play like a paladin or a fighter or something like that. Some kind of holy warrior. Uh, the the mini itself, like the uh, like Jean, <laughs> Jean has Jean, whew, Jean has such a cool look to her. The kind of like the who I'm not gonna say the the groin cover there. The the kind of the tabard is made of it's kind of made of parchment, like probably a holy scripture of some kind. She has her her Libran going on. Just an awesome, awesome mini if you want to play some sort of holy warrior. And a Tempest Cleric just fits perfectly with the with the with the pirate with a pirate team bundle and a and a sea adventure bundle. Let me just transition back right quick while we exchange things for the for the for the bust model here. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> Yes, shocking. <laughs> and yeah, let's adjust here and just wait for the perfect transition moment so you can get like the max out of this. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is just the, the gene bust, our third and last hero bust for the bundle uh, we still have one more to show after this uh, but yeah just an awesome awesome armor you uh, like i i love the the plate armor that we do uh especially like for for this version you can still you can still see like it uh you can still identify the the character as 
being female, but it's very very functional armor. Uh, if uh, if you would if you saw an example of this in like a, a real medieval battlefield, it wouldn't be that out of place. Uh, just the the stern look and kind of the the crown. I think it's it's. Uh, the crown or 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 headpiece, I think it's uh, it's kind of reminiscent to me of like the the one that Conan used to wear in a couple of the the older comic books, right? And I think it's a it's a nice nod to that to to Crom, right? Uh, what is the who? What what was it? The Riddle of Steel. I love those movies, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Jean, uh, it's here in all its glory. Who I keep calling her Jean. Uh, it's Jean, probably. Or probably, like, uh, with a little bit more panache, even. Like, Jean. Or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure, really. And yeah, an awesome, awesome mag magical item. Who, you know what I'm thinking, Alvaro? Maybe we should... Uh, Maybe we should have made that mace as a prop. That's a pretty cool mace. Uh, maybe we should do th that for a, for a future hero. What do you think? Yeah, that would be a great idea. I, I, I also love uh, weapons, so you can expect more of the props like the dagger we did before in future bundles. Yeah, we so we started experimenting with, with props with the the dagger, and yeah, we're doing a. Uh, apparently, you guys really really like the props, so we're probably gonna keep doing them. So keep giving us the, keep giving us your opinion on that. Uh, and let me just make a little bit of an adjustment here. Okay, and next up for our next uh, for our next mini, and the next concept we have. Eleanor the Harpy Gale. And let me tell you guys, uh, <laughs> Eleanor is like the, the uh, a badass female captain, right? Uh, uh, there's a lot of, if you have a, a swashbuckler pirate movie, you gotta have at least one of those. The more the merrier. Uh, like, the, they always make like great, great characters. Uh, and there's actually like, historically, there's uh, a lot of very very powerful uh female female pa pirates and let me tell you a little bit a little bit of trivia about this one i think we came up with the name for her about what five minutes before we posted the concept art it was like down to the line and you know the the creative process here we come up with the mini first and then we come up with like a great great uh concept for the miniature and then the, the name and the backstory, we figured that out later. We have like the general concept of what minions we're gonna have and what relationships can exist between the miniatures. But honestly, a couple of the things are kind of like the, the main focus is on the miniatures and on the models. And we actually have a little bit of a treat here for you guys because we have a painted version of Eleanor, uh, the 75 millimeter. Because we uh, we uh, actually did did this one for a, tut a tutorial video that is coming out soon. Uh, who, who was the one that painted it? Was it you, Marcia, that painted Eleanor? It was, yes, right? it was me. Yeah, yes. So you can expect uh, the tutorial video to come out uh, soonish. Uh, okay, so this is Eleanor, the painted version, and the sculpt for Eleanor is by Rafael Sui. And the paintwork, the amazing paintwork you guys are seeing here is by Massa Georgina, who is joining us today right here, right beside us. So, yeah. Whew. Like, the, the paint the, the paint job really, really makes the, the miniature like come to life, right? Uh, do we, I think we have, do we have a, a, an unpainted version so we can show them like side by side. The, the sculpt is amazing and there's a lot of... Uh, Again, it's the pirate bundle. It's a it's a great bundle for us. If you want to, no. uh, the pirate bundle is a great bundle for us because there's a lot of opportunities for uh, for like doing different textures and stuff like that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, doing different textures and stuff like like that. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of metals, a lot of different metals. 
uh, like the, we have an opportunity to do uh, letters and cloth and stuff like that in a single in a single character. Uh, they tend to be like more more complex in their their garments. Pirates, right? They they really like to to show off, and they they have a little bit of as I said before panache going on. Uh, and yeah, abs Eleanor absolutely has, and I think uh, Rafael did a, a great job translating like the just the kind of like the the deadpan look from the from the concept art here to the to the model and I think we're gonna be able to see it even better in the bust version and let me uh, let me just transition here while we replace there with the the bust version I think this one is one that uh, it's very very useful as both an NPC and a player character I would love to play uh, a, a badass character like this uh, in, in any of my D&D games but I also think it's gonna be like absolutely amazing uh, to it's gonna be like absolutely amazing to for painters right she just has uh, a lot of stuff going on for her <laughs> Yeah, it almost looks like a different model when painted, and I think that's one of the, and I think that's one of the the great things about this. Like we we give the we impart a lot of character into the model, but all of that can ch can change. Uh, all of that can change when uh, when you guys paint it, and you guys eyes can like completely uh, resignify the 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 model. Oh, oh. And while I'm here, and let me actually go back to the to the to the concept art a little bit. So while I'm here, I might as well tell you guys that we do have a QR code going on today. Uh, it's uh, if you haven't uh, bought the bundle yet, you can just ooh, let me transition here. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can just uh, if you haven't acquired the model yet, if you haven't subscribed. Uh, please do and you can use the QR code and you we can check out how many people are, were actually uh, were are actually like watching the live and uh, the live stream <laughs> So yeah, don't forget to you can always use it I think it's gonna be it's gonna be up here whenever I'm in the, the concept page uh, but yeah, who and actually guys <laughs> you guys may have may have noticed this hat's a little bit too small for my for my big hat it's not a it's not the fault of the hat manufacturer i was just born with like a, a gigantic head so next up what do we have what do we have uh oh next up actually we have the miniature that mars is painting and let me transition into it Ooh, okay let me just go back to here i think i think we showed the the bust let's see here who knows, Scott? I don't think Marcia is taking commissions. She is working for loot ex exclusively right now. And if anyone tries to, to steal her away from us, uh, you may find yourself uh, at, the, at the end of a, a, a rusty blade. <laughs> but yeah, let me transition into a, a, a bit of a close-up of what Marcia is doing here. Uh, because she's actually painting the the next mi the next mini we're gonna talk about the cannon pirate so yeah the cannon pirate uh, uh, and I'm gonna go back to to the Marcia view in just a little bit so you guys can see that like the the full glory of the 75 millimeter version the the cannon pirate uh, when we decided to do the the a pirate themed bundle we kind of knew we had to do at least a couple of minis that had uh that had guns and that used gunpowder gunpowder is not that common in in like d uh, d, &D wor worlds i think specifically like i think uh uh exandra right the critical role wor world specifically has gunpowder i think the forgotten realms has like smoke powder which is which is gunpowder but it's magical gunpowder so it's kind of like even though some people don't really like uh like firearms in their fantasy games 
when you're doing a pirate themed adventure, you kind of need to have one. So this is one of the characters that has the that has a, a, a reference to that, and it's it's just such a fun concept. Uh, and yeah, let's transition here into first what Marcia is doing. Uh, I, I think that's actually no let's transition into the, the miniature view here uh, because we actually have like a great already painted model a 32 millimeter painted model Ooh, and look how amazing that looks this is 32 millimeter guys the uh, Mars is painting the 75 and I think this uh, some of you may notice that this for this month for March the painting guide, the 32mm painting guide, is already up on the website. You can download it now. Uh, all, uh, we got all of the 32mm uh, miniatures done. And uh, the thing is, we, we hired a new artist, uh, Louisa. Everyone say, say welcome to Louisa. Uh, and we're kind of working on producing more painting-focused content. Uh, so, yeah, L look at how awesome this looks. It's oh, it's and you guys need to see need to need to see Louisa working. It's such like meticulous work. Like I can see the I can I can actually see the glint of the metal in the nipple ring. How awesome is that? <laughs> and yeah, uh, <laughs> just amazing, amazing work. And the sculpt before I forget is also by Rafael Sweet, the same artist that did. Eleanor the, that we that we showcased before so yeah the the cannon pirate is the it's a big big strong guy that can just carry the the scanner around and make sure that who if anyone's trying to board this ship they're gonna have a bad day and let me transition here right quick to, to what Mars is doing who actually I, and I didn't let me actually go there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and there's <laughs> he's just he's just so expressive. This guy. This this is gonna be like a really 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 fun mini to paint. I think the the concept art kind of like and like the the character itself like kind of the the body shape of the character kind of reminds me of of Obelix from Obelix and Asterix. Who that's a that's a pull, uh, but yeah, it's it's a, a great great character around. It's just so so fun, uh, and I think uh, and I think yeah, maybe it w it would work as like a, as an artillery expert, artificer, something like that. But I don't know, man. I don't know if I would let my players carry a cannon around like that. <laughs> okay, so next up, and let me go to it here. Uh, next up, we have the Pirate Scout. Uh, this one is, uh, uh, this one and the next one that are a little bit more of like the, the classical pirates. We knew we had to do, uh, and, and like the next crew has a lot of really weird and out there characters, but you, uh, but we also needed to have some more like human characters, right? right? And more like regular looking characters pirates and uh so you can make like a, a a cool pirate crew if you're not into like the the high fantasy stuff you can still make a, a a really really cool uh uh pirate crew so the pirate scout's part of that he's kind of the the scout of his ob of course he's the the scout of the ship he's the he's the the probably the guy that that uh that actually shouts like ship ahoy or land ahoy whenever they uh, they detect something whenever they, they manage to pass their perception check. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a little bit of a, a more... Uh, not as much of an heroic, heroic miniature, but it can work like, as like an NPC or, a, or as an enemy or as just a, a piece for a diorama if you guys want to do a, a, a diorama of the ship. And I think, <laughs> yeah, you guys are definitely gonna... A lot of people are really gonna want to use the the ship for a diorama a couple of people were asking for like who could we have a version of the ship that is just like 
absolutely no cuts and I can try to, to print it out at once and we're like, whew, that's a lot. So yeah, and here we have it, the, the Pirate Scout in, the, in a sculpt by Samuel Salis. And yeah, just so, uh, who our artists just got so so much like little details. They way the the clothes wrinkled, the wrinkled, the 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 hoop earrings, <laughs> the the hoop ear, <laughs> the hoop earrings are great. Uh, my mom loves to use them, and, and it's like uh, <laughs> it's it's one of those things. Like fashion is cyclical, boys. Like it's. It's, it's fashionable in like uh, 16, 60 something, and it's gonna be fashionable again someday. You know, every 20 years, hoop earrings come back. Uh, but yeah, just a, a great, great diorama piece or display piece uh, for you guys. And can also work as an NPC. And I gotta say, like, again, a very, very respectful, you gotta respect pirates. Very, very respectable beard there. And you know that thing is streamed and he takes care of it. Just great stuff there. Next, next guy, not so much. But this guy, Pirate Scout, he's, like, he's on my list of the, the good ones. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's the... So yeah, uh, all the models like fully pre-supported. I think we, we can see like the, the, the pre-supported 75mm of the Pirate Scout back there. <laughs> So yeah, uh, so next up and last for the for the first crew, I think we're calling it the the the, the Lady Harpy uh, pirate crew, right? Uh, we have the eye patch pirate. Uh, we got we gotta get all of the tropes in. Uh, I think we we had an eye patch for me to wear today, but I can I can like barely see with all those likes I lights as it is <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, the eye patch pirate is it's kind of like the that ruddy crew member that 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 guy who's kind of annoying he's a he's a like uh, he can work as like the classic rogue or maybe a, a, a fighter uh, he's the he's that kind of I would say he's like the the comic relief character maybe in the in the pirate crew uh, definitely like who, and I forget the name of the actor, the, the glass eye actor from Pirates of the Caribbean. He's given me a, a little bit of those vibes. He's kind of wiry and, uh, wiry and lanky. And, you know, you know, he probably drinks way too much and starts spouting off nonsense. And we have the, the sculpt here, which is an awesome, awesome sculpt by Victor Araujo. Uh, so Victor did an awesome job here. Like there's, there's just so many different kind of, uh, like the, the, with the, the pirates in this bundle, like you can really, really see a, a lot of different kind of layers to their, to their garb, right? To their clothes. Uh, so there's the, the vest, the jacket, the, the scarf, uh, the, the, the skin, of course, and the, the cloth, just a lot of stuff, stuff to work with there. The, the hair, I think it's, uh, uh, the, this guy's hair is like, whew, uh, it's, he's probably getting a, a, a bow cut from the, from the ship's cook or something like that. Maybe that's how he lost the eye. I don't know, but it's, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely something. And you know what? I've, I've met, a, I've met people with this har haircut. Uh, some people can pull this off. This guy definitely can't. Uh, so yeah, this is the this is the crew of the, or at least what we're saying is the crew of the the Lady Harpy. Uh, and yeah, let me let's move on to our next crew. Uh, and to start off, the the captain of the quote unquote evil crew. Baltazar de Cordes. So there's obviously a couple of references here. I think the like the cursed pirate captain. It's uh, kind of became a trope in largely in part to the to the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Uh, so there's a, a a slight reference to it here, but whew, it's like cursed ships. 
and cursed pirate ships are a big big are a big big thing uh ships that go missing or that who what was that the name of that ship that just kind of showed up one day uh, without any of its crew like everyone had just kind of vanished that happens like that happened like a couple of times in, in actual history so it's no wonder like ghost ship stories and, and like uh, uh <laughs> cursed pirate stories uh, are just abundant right so uh we kind of did our our own version of that here it's a very very intimidating kind of uh boss probably like mid-level boss enemy uh for for your players to fight uh let's transition here so yeah this is baltazar de cordes he's kind of like the <laughs> yeah just just a little bit of everything with this guy so he's got the the kind of lobster claw at the right hand the he's zombified like this guy has been like probably cursed like a, a couple of times over uh <laughs> just just he's not having a nice life he's been around for like a couple of, of centuries just kind of desiccating in the in the in the, in the like salt air of the sea and i gotta say like the the concept is awesome but the sculptor here pedro young uh, just really really took it up a notch right just the the amount of like little little rips and the clothes and details like, like can we get a close-up on the face there yeah like who look at that face and that that beard it's just really really nice just really makes it look like it's uh it kind of suggests the features it had when it was alive right uh, <laughs> or at least when it wasn't undead uh and all the, the the barnacles and the clothes there just just to to showcase how long this guy has been has been around and has been roaming the seas and just uh wrecking stuff up and like the, the negative space on the stomach there it's like a great touch let me let us yeah let, let's just wait for it to turn around so you guys can can see the yeah you know just a little bit of a, a, a touch there like the underneath the 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 belt that's going across and the, the kind of empty rib cages or at least the, the illusion right that we're making just really really amazing job and yeah the the love the lobster claw like you always need uh, if you're gonna do a, a a sea adventure or a sea campaign or something like that you need a, a cursed sea captain you just kind of need one uh it's not a, a sea adventure if you're if you're not fighting a, a ghost ship and a bunch of ghosts or undead pirates and we actually have a couple more of these uh a little bit later on but before we get into those we have a little bit of a favorite of mine for this bundle i because i just think he's so so fun uh we have the shark man uh a lot of you have been asking us for a while for more like where beasts or 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 where where creatures or at least things get, that can be used uh, as where creatures I think the the shark man can definitely be used like, as like a wear shark. The lore we have for him is like kind of like a, a kind of like a blessed or, or cursed sahuagin, like a, a, a hammerhead uh, sh hammerhead shark uh, headed sahuagin. Uh, so yeah, and and it's just like just a fun fun concept, and it just turned out in such a an amazing amazing mini like this guy in particular has probably been around for a while and let me just transition here Ooh, let me just wait for a for a better better moment here and yeah okay so this is a big big guy uh lovely looking miniature lovely looking sculpt by douglas machings uh you know, and just who 
and you can you can imagine your players like uh, your uh, he actually has a swim speed. We have a, a stat sheet for him and everything. And who you can imagine like you're describing to your players like the they see the they see a fin uh, a gray fin cut through the water, and something is approaching at at a high speed. And it's a giant shark. But wait, no, it's a were shark. It's a shark man. So yeah, just some, an amazing, amazing sculpt. Uh, <laughs> and just a, a, a cool model. This guy has always, obviously been, been around for a while. He has his own like custom overcoat with a little, with a little room for his, uh, for his uh, back fin there. <laughs> so yeah, just a really, really cool model. Let's see here. Uh, just a second, guys. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, so yeah, let's see here what we have next. What we have next on my little cheat here here. Oh Jesus, we're not even like done with the the first half of the the page. Jesus. Uh, okay, so next up we have the, and let me get to her here. Who? Next up we have the. Half Sahagin Pirate. Uh, so the Half Sahagin Pirate, we have like two different Sahagin type uh, characters. For those who don't know, the Sahagin are kind of like the. I think Five E describes him as kind of like they're not fish folk; they are shark folk. They worship sharp sharks. They are kind of weird. Once in a while, one of them is born with like four arms and is uh, a Sahagin lord or something. Uh, they have like sp the specific two-headed shark god that they venerate. They are very bloodlusty. But this one, uh, it's not necessarily that she can work as a as a triton or or as a or as a a merfolk. She can. Uh, we actually made her like you're gonna notice. There's a difference, a little bit of a difference in size between the half sahagin and the full-blooded sahagin. That's on purpose. This brings her a little bit more in line with the with the rest of the the hero characters, so she can be used as a hero or as a or as a an enemy, an NPC, whatever you want to. But she can definitely be used like as like a. a Again, as a swashbuckler rogue or as a as a rogue in general. Uh, so yeah, let me transition here to the sculpt, and this one is by Pedro Young. So yeah, just a really really cool mini. Uh, another one that you guys can use as uh, as a hero mini. Uh, I think I think it it will work really really well for like a. You know, for a merfolk or uh, even like a water genasi or something can work with uh, this particular character. <laughs> I I think it's kind of it's kind of nice. Like she has the the barbs on the on the her forearms there. So she, uh, if I was her, I would I would just be done with the the sleeves. But you know, uh, to each their own. <laughs> you know, uh, and like. The the pirates are pirates and they're kind of uh, they're kind of rowdy and they're kind of uh, uh, they're kind of dirty and grimy but you know they have a sense of style and they have some hug in here just kind of looks really really cool in my opinion yeah there's a lot of people in chat saying they're they're gonna need to to order more resin for this model yeah this model has a lot of stuff it has a lot of really 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 cool stuff. Yeah, just just look at that. Just look at how awesome the, the the cloak is. Okay, so next up we have the Sahuagin pirate, and you're gonna notice this guy has a, a little bit of a different base. He could be uh, either. Uh, I think the the idea of his base is that he's kind of sinking, right? He's like the probably maybe the last survivor on the ship. Doesn't really matter. He's the uh, he's the he can breathe on the water, right? He's like fully amphibious. Uh, actually, not fully amphibious. It's like, it, the Sahuagin have like limited amphibiousness. They can, they can't stay uh, far away from the from water for very long. That's why why the the half Sahuagin doesn't have that. 
she can uh, stay away from the water uh, as long as she wants to. Uh, but you can imagine like this guy, maybe this Sohagin took down a ship and he's like just scouring the debris. Or maybe he's part of a pirate crew. Uh, we kind of leave, leave that up to for you guys to decide. Uh, and I think the, the, the sculpt here by Victor Araujo is just really, really nice. Just look at all of that. Like his... <laughs> I think he looks kind of it's it's weird because I think he looks kind of regal like the 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 fins and the the head crest who let me adjust my little hat here uh, the fins of the the head crest uh, like the 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 who yeah the fins of the head kind of look like a, a crown a little bit I really really like that look I would I would maybe I would maybe use this guy as a an oath of the open sea paladin I think I think it could it could work out that way. And you know. Who let's see here what's going on in chat. Yeah, just around great, great stuff going on in this model. Like the the, the detail on of the, the the scars on the chest and the the way the the skin uh the way the skin is kind of the form. It's kind of like <laughs> uh Actually, I'm not, not that I'm thinking about it, uh, the, the scars on the chest could be kind of gills, like who, what's the name of the aquatic hero in the, in the boys? Uh, who, I forgot his name now. No, no, no. The <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to remember it eventually, or someone's going to mention it in chat, and I'll, I'll, everything's going to be awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is the Sahuagin Pirate. And next up for the for the Evo crew, it's all the deep. <laughs> yeah, the deep, the deep from yeah. the from the voice. Who I really love the show. I love the love the the comic book. The show's a little bit different, but it's still like really really good. Uh, so yeah, next up we have the orc pirate, and this guy uh, he, like orcs don't, don't necessarily need to be evil, right? But I think the with this guy's looks, it would be it would feel kind of weird if it if he wasn't a, a part of the quote unquote evil crew. Uh, the you know you you kind of uh, the orcs are kind of uh, when they are raised in human societies, they are always kind of outcasts, even if they are not evil. And pirate crews tend to have that team right of of uh bringing in together a bunch of uh, a bunch of outcasts and re rejects and i think the the orc pirate here is a it's a great great fit for for any pirate crew but i also think he can work outside like this specific miniature can work like outside the context of a of a, a pirate team bundle he can work great as a as a fighter or, or a barbarian and i think and I'm gonna transition into the actual sculpt here. I think you guys understand why I say this guy can work great as a barbarian, right? This guy is mid rage. Uh, and this sculpt is by Danilo Chagas. And I think Danilo did a great job here, especially with the, the hair. The hair looks really cool. Uh, if if we, could, we could zoom in on the, the head there and the face and the hair, just who? Just such cool stuff there. Who, and the the rippling muscles, right? Uh, and the like the the threatening pose, and the the big big tusks, big big mouth. <laughs> Just I kind of love to this orc. Like orcs to me, uh, like they can they get to look like orcs, right? You don't need to like make them uh, like super super human looking unless they're like half orcs or something. Uh, there needs to be to be something different about them, something special, and I think the something that that uh, kind of marks them as like not quite human, uh, and I think that that works great. Uh, just a second, you guys. Uh, let me transition back here to the to the concepts, but I'm also gonna just turn off the the mic here. Oh, we're back. Uh, Mars, I had a little bit of a camera thing there but she's back now okay so the the next mini 
uh, that we're go gonna take a look at is the the next undead of the bundle, the skeleton pirate. Who? I think we just dropped a couple of things there, people. Uh, we're gonna set thing, we're gonna set them up again. There's a couple of lights just fell, but I think everything's fine. The minis are fine, and I didn't drop them, which is the most important part. It's not my fault. I didn't break anything today yet. Uh, so that's the, the important thing to, to get from all of this. So yeah, the skeleton pirate, right? You kind of need to, the, uh, uh, who, if this guy had a, had an eye patch, this would be one-eyed willy, right? From the, from the goonies. Ooh, but maybe that would be two on the nose and we don't want to mess with that. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a classic like skeleton pirate, like just the, the remains of like the guy that went looking for the treasure and never came back. Uh, maybe he got reanimated by a, a, a curse that was laid on the treasure. Uh, maybe he got too greedy, or maybe he was like one-eyed Willy. I'm gonna I'm gonna get all of this treasure and take it into a, a cave somewhere and hide it and. No one's ever gonna get, no, no one's ever uh, gonna get their hands on it, and I'm never gonna spend it because I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're being a pirate and getting a lot of treasure and you're not using it for anything, like you're not doing it right, man. You gotta live the life. You gotta you gotta uh, enjoy yourself a little. Uh, at some point, you gotta gotta retire. Maybe start start like pirate island. Uh, Par Par Pirate I Island, who Pirate Island Limited, right? Start a, a Pirate Island, uh, like start uh, financing younger pirates or something. Who, just just uh, great stuff. And this was one of those, those minis where we uh, and actually yeah, let's transition into the the model here, and a, a, a great great scoped by Wesley dos Santos. And yeah, uh, this is one of those minis where uh, it, like, there's a, a bit of negative space on it, like just uh, those, those empty, uh, those empty spaces on the the chest cavity. Just make it look so good. It's just so so good, and it's one of those things we can actually use like a couple of tricks to to reinforce the miniature, so it's not just like the the thin uh, spinal column that's holding it together, like the the overcoat is that also helping uh, hold the, the top part of the, the mini to the bottom part of the mini. So, yeah, just... Uh, uh, I don't know if I would let... Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe this, this, this guy is like a little bit uh, too... Let's say he has passed the point where I would let uh, a... Uh, a player play this guy as a return, but this guy has like has all the tropes going on for him, right? Uh, the the peg leg, the the treasure map on the belt there, the the hook for a hand. So yeah, just your classic classic pirate that has not made it back from the latest treasure hunt. Who, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the last member of uh, a pirate crew that we have here It's gonna be Let me transition here To the zombie pirate So the zombie pirate doesn't actually need to be a zombie I think the stats we have for him are, are closer to those to the stats of a, a white uh, But he just... He just works great as any like corporeal undead in a in a sh in a uh, for a for your ghost ship adventure. Uh, maybe you're playing Ghost of Saltmarsh or something. Uh, and yeah, one of these guys show up. Uh, <laughs> maybe one of the returned or the the, the drowned or something like that. Uh, so. Yeah, zombie pirate with the the classic like I'm gonna hold a I'm gonna hold a, a, a knife in my in my mouth because I don't have a a belt and I don't care about uh, safety precautions in the workplace environment. Uh, so yeah, this is what you get. You get a, a knife through your through your cheeks. 
so yeah, let me transition to the scopes my to the scopes now, and the scopes is by Dave Sombrito. Uh, and yeah, who just just look at that, just yeah, I can imagine this this guy was probably like tied to the wheel of the ship, and like left to to starve to death or something. Who like the pirates ha had some really really crazy really really. Uh, kind of gross punishments. Uh, do not uh, Google Q Halt, but you guys have probably heard the song, right? Uh, so yeah, a lot of lot, a lot of like really uh, cruel, cruel punishments. And the sculpt here by by Dave Song just just looks great. Just such a cool looking zombie. Uh, you know, just because you're dead doesn't mean you can't have style, and the the zombie part obviously does have a lot of style going on for him. <laughs> yeah, and this is all for the pirate cruise, but we still have like four more characters to showcase and i think we're gonna start with uh and like the the four next characters that we're gonna shoulder we called them into we call them in the bundle of the of the sea dangers right or the the who I, I i came up with the name and i forget what, I, what I, we call them exactly uh actually i can look it up because i have we have it in the the magazine we call them the dangers of the sea because they're not necessarily like uh, they're not necessarily uh, on one side or the other. They don't tend toward any particular cruise ship, but they're like great, great complementary minis to have on any uh, sea adventure bundle, right? So first off, we have the Merit. So the Merit, of course, the, a, a water genie, uh, a like the i think they are described as like the the most powerful of the the genies in five in five v uh they are uh, uh they are like really really powerful and they tend to be kind of hung up on on like social uh social protocol right they have a very specific way to if you're gonna make a wish of a marriage it's not gonna be easy there's gonna be like a very specific way you have to ask the question and you have to be very very respectful or they're just gonna screw you over with that wish wish spells are dangerous dangerous things uh so yeah classic classic uh D, D monster it's one of the, those favorite ones where you can put this up on on a uh, like with uh, with uh with a, a gin, like a, an air genie, or a they're, they're probably just gonna help you. With uh, an ifrit or a fire genie, they're probably gonna want to capture you and enslave you, and it's not gonna be a, a, a good interaction. Uh, with a merit, you have you have some wiggle room, right? As a DM, to kind of decide how the merit is going to interact with the with the with the players. This is also like the one of the the large minis from the the set, like large size. We actually we are kind of having to to adjust our our camera position here to make sure everything everything works. And you guys are probably gonna notice a, a little bit of a different background, uh, kind of a deep sea background there as well. So just a second while I, uh, yeah, just giving the signal, guys, when we're good to go. So yeah, let me check chat here. Uh, we actually have more than one genie uh, fear grounds. We have a genie, and I I'm not gonna remember the bundle. I think it's one of our 2020 bundles. We have a a, a warlock in those bundles that has a a genie for a patron, and we have a I think we have a gin in one of those bundles. Do you remember the bundle Alvaro, where we did a a gin before? Uh, it was the same bundle as the the pit fiend. I I can't remember their name. Uh, yeah, the, it was. It was the same bundle as the pit fiend. It was a light in the shadow, right? 
yeah, yeah. yeah. Light, in light, light in the shadow like the december 2020 bundle has a has a gym so we haven't done like all of the, the genius yet but we're gonna we're gonna get there eventually right eventually uh we're, we're gonna have like the the full collect action just stick around with us guys we're, and we're gonna we're gonna do right by you how are you okay i think i think it's good enough to go like this piece is like a little bit bigger than the that the, and actually if we could get like a, a 75 hero or something just to to be on the background that there for scale uh, so people can see like how big and awesome to this merit is oh yeah that that works great so yeah here we go here we have to here we have the the merit in all of its glory like just just he has just been released for from from the lamp uh and uh this amazing sculpt is by Rafael Sui uh so yeah just a, a lot of really nice textures there you know genies and like this water creatures and like they're part humanoid part something else so there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for for painters here like they are great dnd monsters but i think painters are gonna have a lot of fun with this one just the like the the tail like right the, the bottom half of this guy is just uh this swirling column of water the then you have the the body itself you have the the a little bit of skin you have scales you have the fins you have the you have the the vest, just a lot of different textures and a lot of different stuff that you can work with there. Just a lot of fun for for players, painters, and everyone. So yeah, Rafael did an amazing, amazing job with the with the sculpt. Ooh, yeah, we have someone on chat that we definitely have to to ban. That it's. Spamming, spamming chat. Let's see here if I can do it myself. Huh. Block. Block. Okay, let's see if the, the spammer... Who? Spammers, right? Uh, freaking hate them. Okay, so yeah, this is the merit. I'm sorry we can't, sta we can't stay with this particular mini uh any longer because we still have a lot of like really cool stuff to to get through we have like th uh three more characters technically uh so yeah let's talk a little bit about the mermaid so mermaid classic classic sea monster or sea creature uh it's in legends everywhere right uh it's kind of like ubiquitous you, if you you're doing like a pirate adventure or something like that you kind of need a, a a mermaid like creature uh harpies are usually to go to in dnd but we wanted to give like this i think the the mermaid specifically it's a, a great great nod for painters right it's a great great display piece and we don't want to just like in every bundle we have like uh, at least a couple of, of minis that we know are gonna look great when you guys paint, paint them and that you guys are gonna love to paint them uh so i think that's that was the, like the the big intent behind this particular uh this particular mermaid and yeah i think she turned out uh she turned out kind of awesome uh in a, in a sculpt by dave sombrito let me just wait for while we we set up there and we configure things so it looks great uh yeah we're just adjusting the camera here guys bear with us for a, a couple of moments there we go and we are good to go and whew, this was not intentional guys but i think we're gonna see the the back side of the mermaid first uh but yeah she's an all around like just amazing amazing miniature and there's a little bit of the, like the the translation to the sculpt has a couple of differences from the like the original concept art i think her her hair is flowing like a lot more here 
uh, this can work as uh, it's either in the wind, a very, very windy day, or she's actually like underwater, right? She may be, this may be a, an underwater rock or something. Uh, but yeah, this particular mini is going to be absolutely great for, for artists. I can already see a couple of people even uh, increasing the size from the 75 millimeter to something larger. Uh, and yeah, just I'm really, really excited to see what you guys are going to come up with for, for this one. All of the, the colors that are going to come out of this. Whew, just fantastic. If you could zoom in a little bit to get a close up on the, on the face. And the, like all of the, the details of the, the body there. You know, we don't usually do... Uh, we, we have a, as kind of a, a, a policy here at Loot. We don't do like sexy characters or sexy models. Unless they, it fits the, the history of the character and the history of the, the creature. So I think the, I, I think the, the mermaid is a great one to do kind of a... Uh, let's say, let's just say, uh, sex positive and comfort comfortable with with her body uh, character, uh, just as the the Medusa that we did was. So whenever it like fits the character and fits the bundle, we do it. But we wouldn't do like a, a, a sexly armored paladin or something like that. Uh, but yeah, for the for the mermaid, like we couldn't not do a very very nice looking kind of uh, a little bit uh, uh, a little bit uh of a uh, you know pin up of a uh, uh, sexually positive character uh <laughs> yes let's let's just let people uh check out the all of the, the details there on the tail the long long tail little treasure chest there maybe she's like collecting stuff like ariel who knows who yeah i'm gonna let let it hang on this this model for uh just a little bit more while i set up set up things here just because she is so great so great gonna get a uh yeah more zoom on the the face there who just, mwah, just perfect. Okay, and we're getting on to like the last couple of characters, and I'm gonna save the, the like the big one for last. Uh, so first, we're gonna do kind of a just a large one, not huge, but large. Uh, the hunter shark. So the hunter sharks, like, uh, <laughs> if we're doing a, a sea adventure, you need to have like a couple a couple uh, of sea high hazard hazards if you're doing an underwater adventure you're gonna need it as well and the the hunter shark is kind of our nod to that and like sharks are the go to could go to thing for for sea uh beast danger uh, it's also an opportunity for you to kind of like offer up for your druid something for him to be shape into while in the water if he hasn't seen a shark before which most people thankfully haven't uh <laughs> Uh, and it's also like the the since the concept since the inception of this piece we want to, to give the, the illusion that the, we want to use the base to give the illusion that this uh, shark is like it's like not flying but swimming around floating around that he's underwater uh, yeah we're just adjusting the the camera here folks to give you guys the, the best possible look at the at the, the miniature Okay, I think I think we're good to go. I think we're uh, I think we're gonna get a, a good view from it here. So yeah, this is the hunter shark. You can use it as a as a great Y it as like a tiger shark, whatever you wanna, however you wanna paint it to to spice things up. Uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a battle weary shark. <laughs> the sharks are the the underwater version of wolves in D and D. You gotta have your your party five fight like a, a pack of wolves or something uh, as, a, as a random encounters. Sharks can be used for that or they can be encountered with the Savoagin. So, you know, 
just absolutely absolutely uh, a great utility mini uh, and like the the i think the especially when you look at from the from the intended front part like the the swimming around the illusion just turned out great at this one and the hunter shark was sculpted by Danil Danilo Chagas yeah yeah that just that just looks kind of great doesn't it yeah if you need a <laughs> if you need a a, a, a shark uh, this is gonna be the the, the menu you go to and of course how could, could we could we forget but we're, we're kind of saving like the the best for last like the the big thing to to close up the characters of this bundle uh it's gonna be of course our young dragon turtle Turo, the moving island and there's a reason why we've been doing a, a couple of like young versions of the of some of the creatures uh it's just uh, to do like ancient versions uh, or adult or a couple of adult versions, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of work to set up and test. Uh, so a couple of like young versions of like the uh, young dragon turtle is definitely a great way to to give something to you guys that you can print. And if you want a bigger version, you can always like uh, blow it up and, and uh, expand the, the actual model, right? Uh, so, or you can use the seventy-five millimeters. Or you one can use the seventy-five millimeters. Some yes. people. Do so, this. <laughs> yeah. So this one specifically, I think the I think the seventy-five millimeter is basically like the the ancient dragon turtle from uh, from Fizzbuns. It's basically that size, right? If you use the seventy-five for the, the if you use the seventy-five millimeter dragon turtle and a and the thirty-two millimeter mini. And actually, if we could, uh, if we could uh, put a, a thirty-two, yeah, if we could put a thirty-two on the base there, just for comparison's sake. Yeah, so I'm gonna transition now to the actual sculpt, and this one is by uh, Uriel Manges, and God, this this thing is scary. I would not wanna wanna fight one of these things. This is like full on kaiju beast uh do we have it are we good to go guys okay so yeah this is like this is like full-on kaiju right this is like a big big godzilla uh like monster and i actually think it's so heavy that it's like the 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 spinning table that it's that it's in uh it's kind of like getting stuck but yeah just amazing amazing stuff uh, can we do it a 32 millimeter on the side there? Yeah, just put it on the base. Yeah, yeah, that works great. <laughs> you can actually have like the characters fighting it on its base. It's so big, uh, and it's so so. Uh, we named it Turu, the Moving Island. I think Turu is actually a name that Marcia came up with, right, Marcia? Oh, maybe Marcia is like uh, concentrated painting. I think she didn't hear me. But there is a name Marcia came up with. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can, we, we can hear you now. Yes, I answered. Yes, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I think it's a very good name for a, for a dragon turtle. Like, you do not want to be anywhere near those jaws. You do not want to have your ship anywhere near those jaws. Okay, so yeah, this let let's keep going for the oh we have to, we actually have like the painted thirty two millimeter miniature and this could be like a a, a good random encounter right a, a a young dragon turtle that is just kind of uh, let me transition back here to the concept. This mini would work really well with those uh, dioramas with uh, transparent resin like water. You can uh, like do a Ooh, uh, yeah, illusion of it underwater with only the tip of the head outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm imagining who I can I, I can actually kind of already see it. Uh, like the we do the the full ship right on top of the water, and then we do the 
the the dragon turtle with just the, the head picking out and going for the ship, going to attack the ship. Yeah, that would look great. And yeah, this is actually the 32 millimeter uh, miniature. And if you could do the, the 32 character next to it, just so you can have like a little bit of, uh, of scale. So, you know, still like a pretty, pretty big thing, uh, uh, a big challenge for any, for any character, definitely. Uh, and, you know, you can always like scale it up or use the 75 millimeter version. Uh, but I think the, the young one is actually like a great, uh, a great like low to mid level encounter. Like, you know, when you're in those like fifth, fifth level, sixth, seventh, thereabouts, uh, maybe a young dragon turtle is the, is the, is the encounter you want to go with. You don't need to throw on a full uh, giant 75 millimeter scale dragon turtle at your party. And yeah, this is it for characters for the bundle, but we do have other stuff to, to talk about, right? So, uh, let's, let me just, uh, we're gonna do props first, then the rest of, of the objects, and then we're gonna go for the, the, big thing, the big thing in the bundle, right? Excuse me. So, for the props first. So, we have uh, a couple of different things for, for props. First off, we have a compass. It's not like a fully working compass. We can't do magnets with re with resin people. Uh, we can't print magnets with, with resin. Uh, but there's definitely a the possibility if you guys wanna wanna make the the internals of the the compass. Uh, there's definitely some some room in there for it. And who this is just such a such a cool thing to. It feels a bit like a flip phone, right? That feeling you get with a, with a really cool flip phone. Uh, and it's really cool looking. I'm actually gonna hand it over to uh, to our team here so you guys can get a, a good look at it. Uh, and what's really nice is that the, the front part of it, it actually has like a, it's kind of, it, it would be like a world map or something. We left it blank so you guys can paint like whatever world map you want to. Uh, it's, uh, there's a lot of things that would fit into this. Uh, yeah. So, and of course the other prop that we have, and do I have any of them here with me? Just give me one there. Uh, the other prop that we have is the coins. Uh, and the, the coins are uh, a great thing to do. They're, they're just kind of a little thing that you can print a bunch of and do a little treasure. You can use them as inspiration tokens for uh, for the for your players. You can use them as fate tokens if you're playing like a, the fate core system or something. Uh, but yeah, they just have such a such a nice tactile feel. You know, flip a coin, and actually. Both of these items, and we're gonna go to the to actual sculpts in, a, in just a moment, but both of these item, items, we do have like magic item uh, uh, stat sheets for them, right? So they have like magical effects. Uh, you can find this in both this, this uh, month's magazine, and you can also find it in like the download page for the actual props. Uh, we uploaded it there. So it's not like huge effects it's just kind of a couple of things that can drive the that can help you as a dm to drive the plot around a couple of cool ones a couple of like thematic ones just really really cool stuff so first off let's go for the uh for the compass right and let's transition here for a second and the compass was sculpted by let's see here by daniel sanchez uh, and it's just just a, such a cool mini. And if you if you could like just tilt it up a little bit so you can show like the the internal part that rotates. Yeah, so that part rotates, and if you want to, you can do like your own mag magnets in there, or you can uh, there's uh, there's definitely room inside there, so you can do uh, like whatever you want to. And make it actually functional. We just wanted to make like a cool prop, a cool thing to to hold and show off to your friends, and to give it like if you're giving the the magical item to the to a player, uh, this one would be uh, really 
uh, it would be really, really cool to hand in the, the actual prop, right, to the player. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the the hinge actually has a little skull on it, I, and I love it because when it's actually like fully open, the skull kind of closes. <laughs> it's just just a, a nice little detail there. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And next up, we have the coins, and let me. Uh, let me transition here while we set that up. The, the gold one. We have the gold one somewhere. Did I put it in my pocket and forget? Did we drop it? There was a, there's a, a, a coin that we painted in gold colors. And that is nowhere to be seen here. Uh, but so, yeah. The coin is two-sided. It has, on one side, has like a, a skull and a couple of snakes coming out of it. Uh, and kind of like the, the, the compass rose behind. And on the other side, it has a sheep's wheel with an eye at its center. Ooh, what could that be about? Uh, ooh, I almost dropped something here. Almost, but I didn't. Oh, I think we found the, we found the gold coin. Let's, uh, let's set it up there. Uh, and yeah, I think we're actually gonna have, gonna have a video on how to make this like look good. But yeah, these are gonna be... I imagine you guys are gonna be printing a bunch of this hoot. This this looks so great. This looks so nice. I wanna take this this gold coin home. I'm gonna just put it in my pocket and it's gonna be missing from loot. And no one's gonna know and they're gonna to have to check the cameras. But I know the blind spots. Uh so yeah, just really, really cool stuff. Uh all around. And the coins were actually sculpted by uh Wende Ferreira. Uh, as I think we mentioned before, we had a, a we have more artists working on the objects for the bundle now, and just to I'm gonna sound off because we're not gonna go over like uh, every single every single object. We're not gonna go to like every single artist. You can find like the full credits for the bundle in the in the website. As soon as you like go into my loots and click on the bundle, the full credits are there. But we, for this month, we had Wanda Ferreira, Rafael Salesi, Will Andrade, Michel Rodriguez, and Danilo Chagas working on the, the objects of, of the bundle and uh, the props. Uh, uh, actually, the props I, I actually mentioned was uh, Daniel Sanchez and Wanda Ferreira. Uh, and I think now we're going to go to like the, the general objects, right? The, the ship objects. Uh, as always, we... Uh, we uh, I think we we may have missed it like uh, one month, uh, but we we tend to have a, a chest. Uh, a chest is always is always great to have a chest, and I think as soon as like the the previous bundle, and I I don't think it was like an intended Easter egg, but it ended up being the previous bundle. We had a chest that had like a crab on it, and as soon as we posted the the concept art for that bundle, someone's like. Oh, this this must be an Easter egg for a pirate team bundle. It was like it was twenty minutes before that guy figured out that we were we were doing a pirate team bundle. Uh, some guy sometimes you guys just get it right, and of course we have like a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we have like uh, we have uh, a bunch of barrels. We have a cannon and a ballista. A couple of you guys were worried that we're not we we would only have cannons. And some people don't like to use cannons for their, uh, for their, uh, uh, for their D and D adventure. Uh, uh, we have like a bunch of rum bottle, rum bottles. We have a table. We have the the boat shelf, which is really really nice. And we have what we decided to name. We have like of course the the treasure up here, and like in the center middle there. We have something we decided to name the uh, the pile of ship stuff, and some people took <laughs> some people made fun of us on Facebook because of that. But you know, it is what it is. It's at the end of the day, it is just a pile of ship stuff. Uh, so just a bunch of objects that you can use, like populate and decorate the the ship, or that you can like add to your collection of loot uh, of loot terrain and use it for. Uh, for the, whew, eh, yeah, and use it for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, 
Uh, we actually have a uh, for, the, for the ship, unfortunately, like the sculpting time was, was longer than we were expecting. It was like a more complex project. It, was like a, it, it is a, a really complex project. So some of you may have noticed that not all versions are up on the, are up on the website for download yet. What we have so far is, uh, is an FDM version, which is unsupported and a who and a uncut version it still has the cuts for the different decks uh but it's not like uh but it's gonna be like a little bit easier if you have a larger printer to uh to print that stuff for the for the ship uh and of course who and actually i'm not being able to to get here however can you pull up the the actual model of the ship there sure. real quick just a second and of course we have the lady harpy ship the lady harpy ship is like a big project and i'm not being able to let me and there we go i think yeah i think that is showing up like the who so it's a lot of stuff in this ship there's a lot of stuff going on here uh, we decided to do, like it's a big project, and we kind of decided to do it. Uh, you guys uh, really, really liked when we did the, the big terrain stuff. Uh, and we, uh, we decided to do like an actually playable ship, uh, which is a bit of a challenge with multiple decks, and that can, uh, that can work in game, but that can also work as like an awesome uh, diorama piece. Uh, we do have here like the the complete ship like Alvaro is showing off Alvaro is showing off right now the the model there it does have the it does have the the supports here if you want to have it up as a as a display piece so we did something similar to this to when we did the the viking ships for journey to valhalla uh, but it also like the the bottom part the the bilge it comes it comes uh it comes off so you can have it you can have like the the mid and top decks like flat to the yes just like that so you can have them flat to the to the play space and to the map and just uh use use it like that uh and yeah we don't like we haven't actually finished uh assembling our version of the ship here yet we are like done uh, basically done with the the printing i i believe we were doing like that's why we we haven't released the the supported versions yet uh we will be releasing like this week i believe the supported version and uh this first supported version will work for like larger format uh, 3d printers something like the anycubic mono x or the alagu saturn i believe right uh so the it's, it has less cuts and it's probably going to be less of a hassle to assemble. And next week, sometime next week, we're going to release a version that is cut and prepared for smaller format printers. So those of you who don't uh, have like all of the, don't have bigger printers can join in on the fun, right? So I'm going to move on now to like what we, we, I think we, oh, we are actually still preparing it. What do we have assembled of the ship? And I think, do we have it? Oh, I think we're just setting up the lighting here. Uh, yeah. Uh, and we're gonna show like the, the rest of the objects of the bundle. I, I still have like a couple of things I wanna get through with you guys. Oh, okay, just a second here. And yeah, it's a big, big ship, right? And it was a, a, a big project. And actually, let, we're going to show it to you guys. It's not complete. It's basically missing like the, the top deck. It's, it's not there. Uh, we're going to have to be contented with the, the over, over if you could zoom out so people can see it in like all its glory, how it's going to turn out. And this is what we, we have uh, assembled here at Loot so far. Uh, We have two options of sales as well. It's cool to show this. Oh yeah, let me transition back here. 
Uh, do you have it the the second uh, option yeah. there? Yeah, we have like the the unfurled and the furled sails. I, I I think we we release a third version uh, with just this wood piece mm -hmm. because some people want to use like real fabric. Yeah, they to... want to use real fabric, fabric, real cloth to to represent. Yeah. The, yeah, because we didn't do the rigging because the rigging wouldn't like look that good in resin and wouldn't work really well in resin. Uh, so we didn't do the rigging and we kind of, uh, we're probably for our version, we're probably going to do it with like a string or something like that. Or, uh, and yeah, let's zoom in on, Ooh. okay. So let's zoom in on the actual minis on the deck of the ship there. That's just like the, the bottom deck and it has the kind of like the top of the captain's quarters removed. But it's it is big. It is long. Like, do we have the the measuring thing there? Yeah, that's mine. That's not loots. That's from home. Um, <laughs> yeah, just just so people can have a, an idea of the the scale of this thing. Uh, it's it's big. It's like uh, we measure we measured it like from the tip of the the front mast to the the back. It's like. 70 centi centimeters which is around uh yeah it's around like 27 and a half 28 inches long it's like it's a big big shit ip it's a big big project you guys are probably if you're doing it in resin you guys are probably gonna spend a lot of resin so yeah be aware of that be before you start this project because it is big Yeah, yeah, it's twenty inches tall. Twenty inches tall. Yeah, to the top of the, to the top of the the main mast, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that's without the the base here that I have here. So it's a, it's not the, uh, it's not that much of a, a a shelf piece. Maybe it's like a dis a display piece. Maybe to go over your fireplace or something. Uh, yeah, it's it is big. It is a lot. Yeah, it's gonna be a, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. Yep. And actually, let me just get on here real quick while uh, we're showcasing the yeah. while we're showcasing the, the boat there and the ballista and the pile of ship stuff and the cannons and the cannons also have like they can actually move and you can adjust the, the angle with a little piece which is a, a great great detail that the the we we the artists added uh where the oh there there we were i was in the, the wrong page here So, yeah, I think this, this, just this is it for the bundle. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff for this bundle. Like, you do not miss it. Uh, if you haven't yet, uh, like, subscribe right now to, to get it. Because there's just a lot of really, really cool stuff. Uh, okay, so to finish up, before we get to the Q&A, I have, like, a couple of announcements. So we have the, the, let me go over to this vision here uh, and go with the miniature vision. Uh, so we have the, the magazine is out and the magazine is going to have like everything that you need. Uh, we have the, the lore there and the encounter guide and we have to, like the, the lore of, of all of the heroes and the stat box for the, for, the, for the characters of the bundle and the monsters. Everything is here. The, in the end, we have the, 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 
the stat sheets for the magical items definitely check those out uh so yeah everything is here we also have and uh, it's it's kind of a first with the bundle release we also released the uh, let me get on here with the bundle release we also released the painting guide so the painting guide is also out uh so the painting guide is something that we started to do like all of the uh uh all of the 32 millimeter millimeter miniatures have been painted and you can follow up the guide and get a couple of of uh, and get the the inspiration for for how you're gonna paint and how you're gonna do the your your miniatures and you know it's just amazing amazing work by your resident painters uh ooh, i actually wasn't showing it the i hadn't transitioned to the, to the new version here sorry guys so the painting guide uh it's it's up and it's it's here in all of its glory in the beginning of the month which i which i think it's awesome <laughs> So yeah, like what else do I have here? Uh, and of course, so yeah, we have that. I kind of, who, I kind of, I kind of uh, already showed to you guys the, 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 the sheets for the, for the props. And uh, if you definitely, if you if you like this bundle, like definitely check out. We did another. A couple of people had been asking us for, for uh, as soon as we released this bundle, a couple of people asked us for uh, uh, a couple of people asked us for like the a couple more sea creatures, and we did us a, a sea themed bundle before, and it was the. Uh, going down the drain bundle from November 2020 so definitely check check that bundle out as well if you like this one uh, there's an abolet there's a couple of uh, whew, there's a couple of tritons there's Kuotoa. there's a lot of like good good sea creatures as part of that bundle uh, so yeah I think for this bundle this is uh, it let's see if I have anything else here Oh, uh, for the for the loyalty rewards. So, uh, most of you guys have probably already received your loyalty rewards. If you haven't, please contact uh, contact sub contact our support team, and we will figure it out for you. Uh, except for the new nine month uh, loyalty reward, Kadriel, the the burning light, and Kadriel was a little bit delayed. We did a, a Facebook and a Discord post about it. She, uh, uh, Kadra is going to be available, uh, I think, sometime next week, right, Alvaro? Uh, we, we didn't give, like, an exact date, um, I think. We are working on the supports for the the mini version, mm -hmm. the 32 and 75 millimeters, mm -hmm. and the statue will come very soon. I believe next week we will release it, because we just... We don't just play supports and make it available for you guys. We always make yeah. a green test to make sure every support is working. This is why we are a little delayed with the the, the Lady Harpy ship because uh, some of the pieces were very big and we were having problems to print them. So we are having to play supports again to make sure the 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 files are perfect yes but that's going to be available as soon as is as is good and ready and we have tested everything and made sure you're gonna have a good experience while printing it uh so that's that we have uh do check out our our youtube channel or we have a a short up uh, uh youtube shorts up on uh unusual beginnings for adventure a new member of the team luca ha, uh, has joined and we are starting to work on on like more dnd focused content so definitely check out that video and let us know what you guys would like to see from us in the future in that regard like what kind of video i believe the next video that is coming up is going to be about uh, how to make maps for uh 
for maritime adventures for sea adventures so it's gonna be like some really cool stuff but definitely check it out and let us know what you'd like to see next and finally before we get into the q a section of the of the of the day which yeah uh, uh, we're definitely gonna have like at least 10 15 minutes of, uh, of q a uh we can reveal to you uh here before we before we do it anywhere else the name of the next fantasy bundle and uh yeah although we knew the we definitely knew the the team and we had the, the minis figured out i think the the name was something that we we struggled with for a bit right overall like to to get the right name and to convey to convey what the bundle is going to be about yeah. uh, but also not give away too much uh so yeah the name of the next bundle is the crimson sand arena who yes the crimson sand arena let it do let me do it asmr style right uh so yeah the crimson sand arena is coming up in april uh stay tuned to our to our social media and to our uh to our communities if you want to if you want to get uh if you want to see the concept art and the spoilers for it there's gonna be a, a lot of cool stuff in that bundle that i'm really excited for and i'm sure you guys are gonna like and yeah that's it for for the announcements i think uh yes so this is it for announcements. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna check uh, sh chat now, and see if there are any questions and and see what's going on in chat. Uh, if you guys want to make any uh, any questions or suggestions, now's the time. Uh, it can be either for me, Alvaro, or Marcia. Uh, it can even be it can be about the bundle, about loot in general. It can be about anything really. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah yes yes uh okay so someone had asked me and sorry i forgot who it was maybe uh who it was about the the dragon turtle uh, if it had wings and i think our version of the, the dragon turtle has kind of vestigial wings it has like the those the, that extra pair of limbs that kind of work like flippers now or or like fins you know uh so it's something that we we added just a little bit something extra to make it our own right uh it does have like that big uh the big big tail uh the big sectioned tail uh okay let's see here uh preston vc is the ship fdm friendly with supports we don't do supports for the for the fdm versions of the of our large pieces uh just because there's so much variation in what would work with like each uh different fdm printer or a different type of of of, uh, of the end or of filament like uh, there's just too many variables so we don't uh we don't do supports uh it's the the version is like it's cut in a way that uh we usually cut like all of our pieces for smaller printers the version we have up right now doesn't have supports but it's cut in a way that uh it's not gonna take you like ages to print uh and to assemble if you use a, a large uh, resin printer or an fdm printer uh some people are asking muhammad is asking when will you guys launch the, the new website the new website we're we're work, working on it the the like the final test is coming up soon soon and we're probably gonna, we're probably gonna do like a, a slow rollout at first we're gonna do like 100 people then 200 people just to test test out the water see if there are any kinks that we didn't catch on the tests and then we're gonna uh, op kind of open the floodgates it should be a, a really smooth transition and it's like it's just uh, in my opinion i i've seen it and it's gonna be like improvements all around just st stuff that you guys have been asking for a while uh, are gonna be in this new new version uh maybe maybe not in like the like 1.0 version of the, the new website but definitely uh the new platform will allow us to 
to improve things much faster and like pivot uh, on some stuff much faster as well. Uh, Uh, Admiral Akbar, uh, uh, a big fan of us apparently. I, I've I've noticed I've definitely noticed you in our past live streams. Uh, would love to see would love a behind the scenes type video showing how you guys troubleshoot issues like what you've gone through with the ship. And I think it's uh, it would be be really nice to see. But there's not like a formal pro process to it. Uh, we have a couple of people that are uh, we have our three D printing team and we have. Uh, we have Alvaro, and basically what happens is when a, uh, uh, some uh, some problem comes up, uh, they kind of get together and figure it out and solve it like as fast as possible. There's not like a meeting for it. Uh, we don't like just schedule a meeting for it. So it's kind of hard to like uh, assemble the team to to record it at the right time because it it happens like small small stuff that we have to to correct and that we have to to fix happens like all the time, right? And we're gonna have a full video of all process. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a we will have like a full video of the full assembling process right for the for the ship. Uh, and some uh, uh, finishing process. Oh yeah and, and uh and how to how to finish it up. Like it's gonna be a really really good video if you if you are having doubts or if you uh if you're kind of fearful of taking on like such a huge project, we're gonna release a video that should help you out. So you know, with a little bit of help, you can you're gonna be able to do it fine. Let's see here. What else do we have? Rexidus, uh, with the new site, we will have the option to download the entire release rather than piece by piece. Uh, there are gonna be like a lot of new download options. Uh, we're still gonna, that's gonna be in the, uh, oh, sorry, let me read out the questions. Rexidus asks, with the new site, we will have the option to download the entire release rather than piece by piece. Uh, and we're gonna have a lot of new download options. I can't promise you you're gonna have that particular option yet. But a lot of the stuff of that you guys have been asking for is gonna be included in that. Uh, the reason I can't confirm it yet is because uh, it's gonna be in our final test, right? Uh, which we haven't done yet. Uh, let's see what else here. There's a lot of questions. Uh, Bare bones. Any plans to update the taverns? Have a smattering of newer heroes in neutral poses. We definitely have plans on the future for a uh, uh, more tavern updates, right? I think it's like a, a great entry point for a uh, uh, for a lot of people, and it's also like uh, there are very very versatile minis that you can use anywhere. Uh, we don't have uh, anything planned right now but yeah it's in it's in the plans is is in like the uh we don't have anything like sketched out for it already but it's in the plans uh an update for the tavern is in the plans uh let's see here you have the concept stage as you make the minis be really good to see more with you stunning Sunako Kairo is asking, would we be able to see some of the inspiration or buildings of the concept stages uh, or as you make the, the minis? Be really cool to see more whips. Your work is stunning. Uh, yeah, I, I think that, that would be possible. I'm going to talk to the team about this and maybe you can like post a couple of whips on the, uh, onto the Discord channel. It's going to have to be like a dedicated... Uh, whip channel just so that people can understand that it is a, a whip uh, sometimes when we release a whip people, people think it's like the final product and there's a lot of critique even though the model is not actually done yet 
Uh, but yeah, that's a, a great idea actually. Awesome, a couple of requests here. Uh, Al Alexander K, so the lore we were talking about is kind of, uh, isn't the, the realm of D&D, &D, minis and D&D &D lore. There's kind of some, some general stuff that we do just so people can have some background on the creatures. And there's also like specific lore that we create for, for some of the named characters. That's what that's what we are doing right now. We do have plans to do like to go a little bit in depth into it in the future, uh, but for right now we're we're kind of focusing on the minis. Uh, Let's see here. I'm gonna go back and see. There's a couple of questions that I'm just not answering because it's like it would take more than than five minutes to give like a proper answer. So I'd rather like uh, if you guys make a post uh, on our Facebook or Discord, I can answer it there and it's gonna be uh, uh, easier, right? So if you're not a member of our Facebook or Discord communities, definitely check those out. You can go to them and uh, let me actually get to it here. Uh, if you're logged into to our website, uh, let me transition here. If you're log logged into our website, there's the community tab here, and then you can click it. Whew, and I think I went straight to. Oh yeah, I think this is the link that is that is broken. Okay, so what should happen is that you click on the community uh, tab on the website, and then you go into the. And then we're going to have a couple of options like the Facebook or the Discord community. Uh, they are both really, really active and really, really awesome. People are, are awesome in both of those communities. So yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, and if you want to, if you have any doubts that I couldn't answer here today, just make a post there and I'm gonna, we're going to do the best, the best we can to answer it. And the community can also help out in a couple of stuff. Couple of things. Uh, let me go back to the Marcia vision here because the really, really interesting stuff that's going on. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, a couple more suggestions. Yeah, I think we're getting up to the to the end of the the live stream here. Uh, let me go back to the, like big vision here that shows everything. Let me just just a couple of things here. Uh, we're gonna post pictures of the this awesome stuff that 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 Mars is painting. Just just it looks so real. It looks so alive. It looks so nice. Uh, we're definitely gonna post pictures of that once Mars is done. Uh, it it may take uh, just a little bit more uh, time to finish it, but it is a big piece. Uh, the painting handle Mars is using is on the Fantasy uh, Welcome Pack, actually. And there's another version of the painting handle, the painting handle 2.0 coming soon. And we're also going to have a version for the sci-fi bundles because the bases are a little different. Uh, Sumit Kokaro is asking, is this your favorite bundle since you're really dressed up? No, not necessarily. It's just that uh, it's a, a really, really great bundle. But it's just that uh, the, the, you know, it's a fun bundle. And I just, I, we kind of decided that it would be nice to have some fun on the live stream as well. Uh, okay, so this is it, guys. Ooh, I almost dropped something again, but I didn't. And that's the important part. So this is it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with us through the, through the whole live stream. Uh, I know it was a lot of stuff to, to talk about and to, to see. 
uh, this bundle is has a lot of stuff in it. So yeah, definitely check it out. Go check out the... Uh, uh, and once you have it, also check out uh, Going Out the Drain. It's a, it's gonna, it would be like a great complimentary bundle. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for sticking with us. And I'll see you guys next time. Alvaro, Marcia, it's time to say goodbye. Bye. Thank you for staying here with us. Bye bye guys. I hope you enjoyed this bundle. Uh, this was the. Uh, I, I believe it was the biggest challenge that loot, loot faced so far. Uh, creating this uh, pirate ship in less than a month was a really bad bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> we had to work uh, really really hard uh, until very late at night or at morning some days. <laughs> Uh, but the final result is amazing, and I hope you have a lot of fun uh, printing and painting uh, those minis. Okay, so bye-bye. See you in the next one. So yeah, bye-bye, guys. Uh, we're going to leave you guys now with the, the mother video in just a second.